The Trudeau government is facing mounting questions about whether it's too cozy with the world's oldest consulting firm, McKinsey. So why did they spend so much? Whose idea was this? And who's pulling the strings? Public Services and Procurement Canada revealed the Liberals have awarded 23 contracts worth $100 million to McKinsey since 2015. Three of those contracts were through a competitive process. The other 20 were single-sourced, meaning there was no competition. These contracts were spent on things like digital modernization and other large transformation initiatives. It's not clear what value taxpayers are getting. Um, you know, as with any consulting firm, they're going to pitch that their wares are better, unique, proprietary, and departments May well go for that. Call this meeting to order. A House of Commons committee is now looking into whether taxpayers got value for what they paid for and whether there should be an investigation. You know, we, we want to know exactly what the processes were for procurement. Was there preferential treatment? And if there was, it's going to open up certainly larger ethical questions. There are ethical questions about McKinsey. It's been involved in scandals in South Africa, China and the US, where the company agreed to pay $600 million for its role advising businesses on how to sell more opioids during the drug epidemic. The Liberals uh, have a challenge since they've been in power. The SNC-Lavalin affair, We Charity. So this sense of, yeah, being embedded with, uh, uh, you know, business uh, actors. So. Uh, private companies or wealthy people. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he welcomes the committee's work and defended the use of consultants. I think people can understand that uh, professional public service needs to make sure that it's uh, doing uh, the things the best way to well serve Canadians and uh, regularly draws on outside expertise. The committee wants Dominic Barton to testify, Canada's former ambassador to China, chair of the government's 2016 Advisory Council on Economic Growth and once the director of McKinsey. The chair thinks this points to a broader problem of the government's overspending on outside contracts. It's, it's ridiculous. It's not a good use of taxpayers' money for what little return we are getting. I could go to anyone in a grade one class and get the same answer. Committee members voted unanimously to launch a review. Members also want to hear from cabinet ministers and examine McKinsey contracts going back more than 10 years. Donna? Toria Isri in Ottawa tonight. Thank you.